What's up guys? So today we're going to be going over how to apply Terra Sig and also what's going to be the best way to apply it and how many layers you should apply to it. So let's dig right in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make marks on each side. I'm going to make four marks here three marks here, two marks here, and one mark here, and that'll just help me determine how many layers of Terra Sig I've put on each of these so that whenever I fire it, I'll still know, all right, I had four layers on here, it did this with four layers, I put three layers on here, it did this with three layers. So that's what I'm going to go for right now, and I'm going to apply these marks to each one so that I can keep track of it after I get done firing it. Sig that I made in the previous video. This is River Clay Terra Sig. Now before this completely dries, I want to go ahead and burnish this. And you don't want to burnish it when it's too wet because you could potentially just scratch off the surface. Um, but you don't want to do it when it's too dry either. So when you burnish this, you want to make sure you do it while it's still moist. Um, and all you're going to do is just grab a plastic bag, pull it tight to your finger, and make circular motions with it. And that should burnish your pot. Now you can notice that I have two different levels here. I have this level where I burnished it with a stone, and this I didn't do anything with. So this one has a burnish on it already from a stone, and this one is completely... Um, untampered with. So we're gonna see just how well it does with it already burnished and with no burnishing at all. I think you can already see that gloss. See that? You can really kind of see it here on the already burnished area. On this, you can still see gloss, but it doesn't look as good as that does. You see that? That's a nice high gloss to it. This, I mean, this up top here is still glossy, but you can tell it has more of a rough texture. This is smooth already because I smoothed it down with the stone, and then I applied the Terra Sig over it. So you can see, to me, it looks smoother and a higher sheen.
that's at four layers. All right, time for three coats. So here's four, here's three, and it's really hard to tell. Honestly, I'd say the three, this one maybe has a higher gloss to it. I don't know if that's because I I burnished it first, right after I got done with it, while well, it was still maybe a little bit more wet than this one, but this one has a higher gloss to it, I think, in the four layer. I also applied this differently, though, too. I ended up dabbing up top first to get majority of that water coming down, so I may have got just as much Terra Sig on this layer as I did on this one. And that may just be because of the way I applied it. I applied it from the top instead of going from the bottom and coming up. I applied it from the top so that all of it could come down because you can see on the four layer it started pooling on the bottom. So there's a lot of Terra Sig on the bottom right there, whereas this one has none. And look at the gloss on that one too. So definitely the way you apply it, making sure that you're using all the terrace sig that you have, um, you should probably go top to bottom and not bottom to top. So yeah, I messed up on that one. All right, so now I'm gonna apply two coats to this side. Alright, so this is the two layers, three layers, and four layers. Four layers is almost drying up. Three layers is getting there too, and I still think the three layer has a higher gloss to it. Here's the second layer, and I'm gonna do one layer, and I'm going to burnish it. All right guys, so this is just gonna be one layer to this side. Starting at the top. Trying to pull all that up and trying to get both sides of the brush. Okay, I consider that one layer. It's just one load on the brush. I'm trying to get both sides, I'm trying to get it all off. And now while it's still wet, I'm going to burnish it. We're gonna see what kind of gloss we get. I'm putting about moderate pressure on this. I'm not pushing too hard into it, but I'm not pushing very light either. Oh, I just scratched that up. Doesn't look very glossy there at all. Oh, no. And it sort of does. At least for this burnished area, it looks pretty glossy. This up top here, yeah, not so much. So now we're gonna let them dry and we'll come back 
and see which one has the best gloss to it. All right guys, so it's been sitting for about two hours now and as you can see it kind of, at least in the picture, it's still, um, still looks wet. But this was a different clay that I was using. I was using River Clay Terra Sig, and I got the clay that I made this pot from um, from a completely different area. So <clears throat> the Terra Sig, the River Clay was brown. This was more of an orange, and um, yeah, you can kind of tell just from using two different clays, one for the tear sig, one for the piece itself, that it's gonna have some contrast to it. Um, and you can notice that the one that I did four layers of, it looks the darkest. So this was four layers. It really doesn't have as much of a sheen to it as the three layer does, but it seems to be darker, to me anyways. Um, and then here's the three layer, which I think it has the best sheen on it. A little bit lighter than this guy, I feel like. Even up top here, it feels like there's Looks like there's a better sheen to it than there was on this, the four layer side. Here's two layers, again getting a little bit lighter. The sheen, um, I would still say the three layer, well I don't know. See down here they both look about the same. This was already this half bottom half was smoothed down with the stone before I put the Terra Sig on it so maybe that helps it I mean I think it does obviously by just this experiment it makes it look more smooth higher sheen <clears throat> and here's one layer um, a little bit of a color difference especially where I started it at the beginning it pulled up it maybe absorbed a little bit more um, and, you know, a little bit of a sheen down here as well, but not as much, let's say not as much of a sheen as, here's four, three, for some reason three in person looks like it has the most sheen to me. And there's one. But I would say the main difference is with doing the different layering. If you are going to put on more, I would say three layers would be the best. Unless you are trying to go for a change in color. A change in color, maybe do four or five. But you want to be careful not to make a coating out of this. All you're trying to do is fill in the pores with these fine clay particles. That's it, that's all the TerraSig is. It's filling in and sealing these clay pores without completely covering the entire layer, making a new layer. Um, so, I think you could get away with maybe doing four to five layers but I think that'll be a video for firing and I'll probably do another experiment where I just put on a crazy amount of layers and see what the effect is of it when fired. But this, this video is just to show you how to apply it. So you want to apply it top down. This first layer I didn't do as well as I did with the other ones. I'm still learning how to use it myself. So what I've learned from this, 
is you want to apply the TerraSig top down so that the water can run down instead of starting it at the bottom. Um, which loses a lot of the water because it'll just go underneath and pull up. So, yeah, start top down, flip your brush, and go back up. That, to me, is considered one layer. It should take everything off the brush at that point, and then you reload your brush. And then right after you're done putting on two, three, four layers, then you want to go straight to getting your plastic bag, wrapping it around your finger, trying to get all the ridges out of this bag whenever you use it, and then circular motions, and I found that even just doing it laterally, as long as you're keeping an even pressure throughout, um, I feel like it gives the same results. And lastly, I would say three would probably be the most efficient coating for it, but again, you know, I think you could get away with four or five if you were looking to just color your pot a different color than what it initially is. Um, so those are my tips, my do's and don'ts. I'm sure as I work with this medium more, I'll learn more about it and probably get an updated version of this video. But I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Until then, 